Hello everybody, welcome back to Empty Soul Chapter 4. Now we're getting back into the part to where we have to go up against that monster doohickey. Um, so if I don't get it the first time, you're probably just going to see... What are you doing? You're probably just going to see highlights of me failing epically until I finally get it. So here we go. Is there a way to skip all this dialogue? Can I skip all this dialogue? Guess I just got to keep looking in a... Clorith, I definitely recommend a uh, second option, skip the uh, dialogue. Makes sense. Maybe. Be nice. You know what I didn't do? I didn't go get more items for my health and stuff. Let's see if there were at least. If you guys are wondering what all this dialogue is, go watch the last part. You will for sure know what the dialogue is. <laughs> and uh, the inner button is probably getting really annoying. question is, is during all that dialogue, why didn't the monster doohickey come at her? I am. Favorite quote ever. But not today, bitch! <laughs> Alright, so I forgot to do it. Z is to shoot. Oh, god damn it. Fucked up. Okay, hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. What the actual fuck? Clorith, on, on a serious note. Clorith, on on, I'm gonna say this on a serious note. This battle may not be impossible. This battle may, yeah, this battle may not be impossible, but you really gotta work on that, that shooting and then moving immediately thing. See what I'm saying? Like, I'm sitting here pushing the enter to pick up that item, and I shoot. And then the thing is right behind me is that I can't. Like, this, there's just no balance.
So, wait. Really? Really? Eh? Oh my god, are you fucking serious? I couldn't move. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I couldn't move away as soon as I got done shooting. Like you're making it, you made it so that when you shot, you'd have to sit there for a second and then you can move. And that kind of makes it a whole lot harder. Like I don't think this is impossible, but it's just like, but it is very difficult. Like, see what I'm saying? Wonderful. Alright, so apparently upon my travels to the monster to find items and everything, I have found a, um, they say fear, love, and intelligence is what separates us from animals. That's not true. We are animals. We fear the unknown. Love and hate at the same time, and of course, that's stupid. Um, so I've, I've stumbled upon a room. There's a strange panel here. It's weird. It seems like a machine to put coins, but it has four slots. This. Probably shouldn't be standing that close to the chair. <laughs> but yeah, so upon my endeavor to find items for my sanity and safety against that monster, I uh, stumbled across this little area, which you guys saw, a, you know, taste of that shit. Scared the living crap out of me, man. See, this is what Chlorothaps, or this is what Empty Soul is supposed to be, like those, those little jump scares unprepared amongst us that sounded really stupid a small engraved symbol is necessary to open the path now that's what it's supposed to be this computer is still working I can record my progress here yeah sure let's record my progress um but yeah I mean if I if I end up getting too far into this section so to speak I will probably save the monster for next time then Depending on what's all down here, what all's down here. I don't think there's anything else down here actually. I think this is the room that he was talking about in regards to transition floor. Is, is there something else in here that I missed? Computer's still working. Okay. However, I can't recover. It's a different system. Huh. That computer probably links up to that chair of torture. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't see... That's weird. I don't remember if I ever noticed that door. And I haven't really seen any new items. And I can't find any new little codes, so I'm thinking, obviously... Oh, there's something else over here. I've been this way. I don't remember if I've been in here before. I think, yeah, that's where the old key was. Huh. I'm quite curious as to how to, uh, 
I really am curious about how I can how I can go about beating that monster dude. Yet I don't have like I literally dropped health as soon as I went to that one floor, or that one room in this room, this floor. I forgot what this was. Oh man. That's why I didn't miss anything. It's like now the second thing is I have really low amounts of HP. Like you can look at that, I'm almost half down HP. Actually, I'm lower than half. If I'm not mistaken. So that puts me at an even bigger disadvantage. Because you can see right there, 262 out of 560. Like I'm literally at a humongous disadvantage here. Because all I have is this Shamola, uh, Chamomile tea, energy drink, and then herbal drink. And I'm missing something else that I had in here earlier, which I don't really know where that came from. But basically, no, I, I had I have the same thing. So I have two of these, which recovers 300 HP. But I'm going to have to use one before I even go in there so I don't die immediately. Not immediately, but I mean, I could save it to when I get really low, but it only recovers 300 HP. So I'm trying to think of a way to do this to where I can actually survive. You know, like, go in there before I... Is there anything in here that I can... Okay. Is there something in here that I can grab that I didn't grab last time? Maybe there might be something in here that could, like... Essentially aid me in my quest to destroy the uh, computer still working. I'm, I'm. There has to be something in here that will lead me to something. More corpses. What is this? Like, I'm honestly concern about my well-being here in this game. what I can do to to beat this dude There's so much more and I, I don't know what to do. Like I don't wanna, I wanna find more items and I wanna progress a little bit further if there is a way to progress or if I have to go against that, that monster thingy. And it's like, I'm actually kinda concerned or confused I should say with, with, with this full game, like with this, with the way that this is going so far. Basically what I'm saying is, I'm not, I'm not having a good time at all. <laughs> not the point. The point is, actually I'm loving this game. It's just, I don't really know exactly how to, I'm not too certain how to beat that, that dude. I may need to continue looking around on the off screen to find any like remaining items that I haven't picked up yet or something or maybe I'll just end up, or maybe I'll just beat the monster off screen cuz this video is already I mean I've already been streaming or uh, recording for about 30 minutes now and no 
SNS research. Okay, so we're making a little bit of progress it's in red. Continues with the experiments outside the company. I've signed all the documents to get the necessary equipment. These girls will be useful, but I still need to think of a plan if something goes wrong, Dr. Stripe. Alright, so Granite Snake. I guess that was red is SNS research. Still need two more, which is yellow and blue. I want to look around and try to find the remaining notes because I don't think the notes have anything to do with that room. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the notes are still just sporadically laid across, uh, laid around in the um, different floors that you can visit. I just need to find the right note to read. Uh... Wait, didn't I open this up over here? I did. I forgot all about this. Pass through this hole in the wall. Alright. Alright. This computer is still working. I use to open documents and files. However, I don't have anything now to use here. Huh. Okay, so. I'm probably just. Guys, I'm probably just gonna look for the remaining notes outside of this outside of the videos primarily so I can get through the story without making this um without having this be a ridiculously long let's play which is fine if it is but I have other let's plays that need to that need to start up as well so the quicker I can get through these uh, these notes and everything the quicker I can or the quicker I can get through this this uh, this, this particular part the quicker I can actually get this game beat which I'm excited to beat the game I am but I personally have never been good at those like running and gunning shooting style, style games and especially whenever the monster shoots too and um, everything just goes wrong for me yeah it sucks but oh, I'll probably find a computer here if I can't find another note okay, I've been here to find a computer. Um, anyway I can't find another note here on this floor. I will save and then we shall. Yeah, because you can see there's a yellow, green, blue, and red. The green is snake, red is SNS research. So we just need to find the yellow and blue. I'm just, con I'm curious. Like, she says she doesn't know what to do about that, yet she saw the colors. Yeah, we're, we're just going to go save real quick and then uh, end the episode here. I know I said I was going to fight, fight off the monster, but that monster just... That monster can wait until a little bit later on. Either a little bit a little later part of... A little bit later of the series, or... I'll do it off screen. It really... I mean... You guys have seen how the monster how the monster is. I'll probably record it, but I probably won't put it in any video in, in, until I beat it. And it'll probably be like the first thing you see in the video. But um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching the video. Again, Clorith, good job on the game. I'm still a little kind of frustrated at that, at that monster point. Not because it's too difficult for me. It's just because there's some slight things that give us a disadvantage. Like, you know, lack of items throughout the, ga throughout the actual game. Um, not being able to run right after you finish shooting. <laughs> I mean, just those things. They're not like huge against the game or anything. I still love the game. The game itself is awesome. I got jump scared trying to find freaking items, which is awesome. Now, the obvious thing is the the running around and not getting hit by a monster. That's cool, but then having to use a gun that was completely thrown upon me, and I'm still trying to take that in. But I will end up. I will beat that eventually, and I will get to the uh, get to the point to where I have a good amount of um a good amount of items. Hopefully, by the end of this uh, by the end of this series, I'm you know, I'm not going to be dead. So anyways, thank you guys so very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment down below on what you feel about this series. If you want this game, I left a link in the description below for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.